Elementus Ragamus Proelium. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it. Just say it into the Google search, and then I'm sure it'll populate something. For the rest of you, you know me as Make It Mental or Psychosomatic. Either way, it's all the same shit, right? It's all in your mind, in other words. And today, I'm, I'm very disgusted at how uh, evidently the United States' most popular president ever. Let me be clear, even more, more popular than, than Barack Obama. Let me be clear, right? Even more popular than him, this guy, this old white guy. Looks like a, a shriveled up old prune. He can't even, looks like he's off his meds or he's on too many meds or something. I highly doubt he's actually even the one pulling the strings. I think he's just the puppet. You know, I, I've heard stories before in the past where certain presidents just appear to be a puppet where they're actually not in control of anything. And, you know, I've always had my doubts about that saying, but I look at Biden every time I hear him speak. I can't help but think he's a fucking puppet. He just, it's like he goes off into La La Land. You can see it in his eyes. It's just like he just totally sidetracks everything and starts rambling on about shit that makes no sense. But anyway, back to the point. Totally, thoroughly disgusted with all of the leadership, security, DOD, people who say yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir to the president, or whoever's pulling the strings over there. Absolutely disgusting how we are pulling out of Afghanistan. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Some of you may know something called warrior ethos, right? Never leave a fallen comrade. You, whoever's in operational charge over there at the Pentagon, CIA, whoever's pulling the strings in getting the civilians out, you need <laughs> that should be your first priority. You get out your civilians, you get out the military aircraft, Black Hawks, Apaches, tanks, missiles, AT4s, Mark 19s, all the munitions, right? But you get out your personnel first. Secure the military equipment. Either ship it out by sea or fly it out by plane. That's number two. Your soldiers are the last to go, right? Once everybody has rounded up into a secure area, all the planes are ready to, to fly their ass out, and you have air security, then you bring everybody home. It makes no sense at all. No fucking sense at all how they're doing this bullshit. How many thousands of, of American contractors are over there? Journalists, whatever the case may be. Just left. We don't even know where the fuck they are. Who the fuck they are. How fucking retarded. This is what happens when you have people who sit behind a desk making executive decisions who know absolutely nothing about what's actually going on. And you can apply this to even the censorship going on in YouTube. Where doctors, nurses, physicians, people with physical experiences to a vaccine, a drug, or what have you, they're they're being censored based upon misinformation, as if the the subject matter experts at YouTube, Google, Twitter, Facebook, what have you, know better than the people with actual physical hand-on knowledge of the subject. Right? You got people who sit behind a desk making executive decisions that they know absolutely nothing about. Now, what's going to happen when the Chinese, the Russians, take apart our tanks, our Apaches, our Blackhawks? I don't know. We probably even got some uh, land-based missile systems over there. I'm sure of it. Something even more sophisticated than the AT-4 and tow missile. I'm sure of it. They're going to find all the weaknesses, the vulnerabilities... And they're going to use it to their advantage. Makes no sense at all. You pull out your, your soldiers, your civilian, or pull out your civilians, secure the military equipment, ship it out, and then ship out your soldiers. That is fucking it. Never leave a fallen Conrad behind. End of story. Absolutely disgusting how they're doing this. And I'm sure CNN, MSNBC, ABC, you name it, 
they're all fucking, oh, Biden is such a great man. He's doing this, you know, he's a, he's doing a good job. Fucking dumb. Absolutely retarded. And the people who believe that fucking garbage are, got their fucking heads up their ass. Or their heads up the fucking Democrat politician's ass. They're so far up there they can't see the fucking daylight. If, even if you shine a fucking light in their eyes. Now you people in charge of making these operations, you know, sometimes you better not say yes, sir. Sometimes you have to think logically. Sir, we have boots on the ground that need extracted first. This is what needs to happen first. For this to be successful, you can't always be bent over the desk and say, would you like some Vaseline with that, sir? Now, given your old age, it might be a little bit soft and you want some Vaseline, huh? Thank you, sir. Might have another. Thank you, sir. Might have another. No, you, sometimes you have to say no and challenge it. Fuck them. Fuck them people who think they're making decisions and who don't know anything. <laughs> 